Now, your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. Today, temperatures are topping out into the 70s, and I think we're going to get a lot more days like that. This is a really good week of April weather. There will be some periods of time with rain chances, but it's not a washout of the week by any stretch. Clear sky tonight, heading into the day tomorrow. Tomorrow, just hard to come up with a complaint about it. A little cool in the morning, beautiful in the afternoon, but not much breeze throughout the daytime tomorrow. We will cloud up on Wednesday, not looking to be a rainy day necessarily, but some rain, a few showers scattered around during the daytime and then overall just a warm week ahead of us at or above average temperatures throughout the majority of the week and that's when it looks like this it's beautiful out there gorgeous day at Junction City as well as at Mayetta that partly cloudy sky just about everywhere a little bit fewer clouds currently at Emporia and in Topeka we've got little areas where there's a few more clouds but nowhere is clouded up right now it's sunny and 70 West Northwest winds at 17 miles per hour nine hundredths of an inch of rain at Billard Airport Started out at 41, made it back to 71, a little bit below average this morning, above average for the afternoon, kind of hit right down the middle, turned out to be an overall average kind of April day. Quarter of an inch of rain at Fort Riley, just shy of a half inch at Manhattan. Those amounts tapered off to the east, but you can really see the central portion of the area impacted with the rain last night into this morning. 75 right now at Salina and Wichita, Enid, Oklahoma, nearly 80 degrees. So we have a lot of warmth. It's really not even that cool to the north, 60s to around 70. And across northeast Kansas, most of the area in the 70s, McLeod at 66, it's currently 69 degrees at uh, Silver Lake, but 70 at Riley, 70 for Clay Center. The brisk northwest wind at about 9 to 22 miles per hour. Those breezes will continue as we head through the next couple of hours, but as the sun goes down, these breezes will start to diminish, and as they drop back, they'll stay light out of the northwest initially, but start to become a little bit more variable toward morning and light and variable all day long tomorrow. That's what really makes tomorrow, in a lot of ways, even nicer. Similar temperatures, Lots of sunshine and less wind. Mainly clear right now. We've got scattered showers to our south. Our attention is going to turn to this system. It's kind of a weak system pushing across California, but it will continue to zip eastward and make a kind of a beeline for the southern portion of Kansas, which gives us a clear sky tonight, clear sky for the majority, if not all of the day tomorrow. And then as we head into Wednesday, notice the bulk of the showers kind of skirt along the southern portion of the state, although maybe some redeveloping showers at times for us. Again, not a washout, but that is our next rain chance on Wednesday. Tonight, light and variable wind, 5 to 10 miles per hour, 44 for the low, 73 tomorrow, and have a light and variable wind, no higher than about 10 miles per hour, though. Should be a really Really nice day tomorrow. Then some scattered showers, 67 for the high on Wednesday. Not an all-day rain by any stretch. Even warmer Thursday, 77, and light wind as well. Then a chance for a few scattered showers and thunderstorms on Friday, perhaps again on Sunday, but highs in the 60s to low 70s as we head into the weekend. Quite a few weather photos on this beautiful day from David Minnell in Topeka. You can see a rainbow from Cheryl Henry west of Holton, as well as from Brenda Culbertson, also taken in Jackson County. Gorgeous sunrise in Scranton from Darlene Bogren, kind of emanating through the clouds with some sunlight there. You can see the clouds off in the distance as we started to clear in Topeka from Monty Nelson. And then a few more clouds build back in the afternoon. That gorgeous sky from Janet Nedler at Berryton. I was just thinking about how you and I were saying we're getting a lot more sleep this time. We're not waking up and seeing those sunrises. Not as often. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one thing. You know, obviously, we're still working evening yeah. hours, but you know, with that change of schedule, I was so used to getting up with my kids early on. And yeah. now that school is no. not quite as time constrained. Yeah, <laughs> the alarm is not sunrises. going off. No, it's uh, we're sleeping in. Yeah. <laughs>